you are set for a powerful encounter that will change your life forever, as you are about to listen to this powerful sermon by Apostle Joshua Selman. A shift is about to take place in your life that will lead to a supernatural transformation. Say, Father! One more time, say, Father! I decree and I declare that in the name of Jesus, answers to every issue of concern I receive now. Go ahead and pray. Answers. Help answers. Destiny answers. Marital answers. Fruitfulness answers. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I receive answers. I receive answers. I receive answers. I receive answers. I receive answers in the name of Jesus. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted I receive I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up very quick one right now there are three areas of focus tonight number one prophesying liberty for the various aspects of our lives number two ministering deliverance to people who are oppressed because most of the issues you call prayer request the truth is that they are signifying the presence of spirits that may be operating for some on legal basis this is where the ministry of the blood comes that the blood sustains the unique ability to bring a separation and you will find out that with that separation many requests to be answered in a moment and then i want to take a few minutes and pray for the sick those of you who are sick or came with sick loved ones make sure you release your heart your faith to be healed right now hopefully we'll have the time and in a few minutes uh, now because we're hurrying up the moment you have a testimony i'm going to ask you to walk out very quickly some of you who have already received 
we'll take a few testimonies and then we'll enter the stage of prophetic words that declaration is important to me because that is how many of you will return with testimonies not everybody is sick not everybody may be oppressed or have any kind of demonic influence of all sorts but i can be sure that everybody is tired of their current level and that they want to scale heights in the spirit and in destiny hallelujah praise the name of the lord now i want to pray for those who have experienced all kinds of satanic issues my bible says how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power many sicknesses are connected to spirits it is true there are many demonic influences plaguing families now i'm going to pray and it's going to be i will ask you in our manner here to shout the name jesus and when i do with humility of heart and the fullness of faith i'd like you to obey that prophetic instruction and very quickly i'd like you to bring out those who will be under the anointing now the ushers are limited please do me a favor if someone maybe you are especially you're a worker those under the anointing when i ask you to bring them out if there's someone under the anointing close to you just help to bring them out you don't have to wait for the ushers they are limited they are literally tens of thousands of people all over and there's so much they can do father in the name of jesus the son of the living god here at this miracle service you gave us authority and you gave us power over snakes scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy you gave us authority over witchcraft altars and every kind of satanic manifestation father there are lives here there are destinies here that have been under the siege of darkness as individuals as families as businesses plaguing their help their finances and various aspects of their lives this is why your people came and lord i pray right now that as your people shout that name that is above every other name every spirit that has tied down lives that has tied down destinies it is time for you to give way ladies and gentlemen at the count of three i want you to shout that name that is above every other name that name that defeated sin satan hell and the grave and as you shout it let every spirit that is not the holy spirit of god it will clear the way and it will release your destiny now and then ushers very quickly please bring those under the anointing are you ready now thank you jesus one my god i sense a strong anointing two three shout jesus help them please release every destiny now every destiny bow be released now outside inside yokes of darkness curses let god's people go now in the name of jesus hallelujah my god we're still praying in the name of jesus i'm seeing hands tied i've seen this many times every hand that has been tied right now i decree and declare let the let the fire of the holy ghost bring a separation now 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 the spirit of delay whose destiny has been delayed here whose destiny is not rising here i'm seeing fire falling father let the altar of delay right now at the count of three let it be broken one two three break now break now destiny delay be broken now be broken now! Be broken now! Abalaga bakata bakata kapa, krateke pareke tapusiata. I'm seeing a veil, a veil, a covering, stopping your glory from being seen. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. I stretch my parakatos. Help that lady, my God. In the name of Jesus. That veil that has covered your glory, I tear off that veil now. I tear off.
of that veil now. I tear off that veil now. to do to those outside those outside i want you to lift your hands i stretch my hands right now in the name that is above all names those at the overflow outside at the count of three those outside i want you to shout jesus i'm seeing altars on fire and the lord is telling me that these are altars of untimely death sitting on the destinies of people some of you have lost your loved ones i don't know why god is speaking to me about those outside right now i decree and declare outside at the count of three one two three shout jesus break now break now break now break now the spirits of untimely death you are under arrest by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost Release them now. Everyone appointed unto death. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Shame and disfavor in the name of Jesus to a point where people avoid you like a plague because it's as if you are carrying bad luck they whisper to one another and say don't come near this person the last time I came I went down I pray for you every negative mark upon your head that makes people to reject you in the name of Jesus I wipe it out tonight I wipe it out tonight I wipe it out tonight I wipe it out tonight. Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing the Lord heal someone right now. I'm soon to begin to pray for the, the sick. This person you had fibroid years ago. You went to the hospital and they operated you and it's regrowing back again. This is a spiritual thing. I'm praying right now. This is what I see in my vision. I don't know who that person is. By the power paracata siketea. Sani separanta skaba. Skabaraka toska breketa. That devil manifesting as fibroid. He dies now. He dies now. He dies now. Praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the angels and the saints Sing praise Adonai from the rising of the sun to the end of every day, great Adonai. All the nations of the earth, all the angels. One more time, great Adonai. 
of come out in the various overflows i speak to every spirit that has tied you down in the name of he who died and rose again this is koinonia a house that god has helped and i declare at the count of three you lose your hold on them and everything you have taken from their lives let there be a restoration at the count of three one two three go now go now go now never to return go now never to remain go now never to return their bodies are the temples of the holy spirit their destinies are immune fortified by the blood in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i want to pray for the sick just be silent i want you to listen to me i'm seeing something that looks like a white towel and i'm seeing it being laid on the heads of people not everybody these are specific people it is being laid upon and i'm wondering what is wrong and the lord is telling me that there are destinies that have cried there are families that have cried and he's coming in as a bam in gilead this is not just bodily sickness i'm seeing this being laid on people right now father i'm at least with what i'm seeing it should not be less than 12 or 13. i stretch my hands lord i don't know who this this cloth i'm sure is a sign of succor that is coming on a bleeding and a weeping family or a man of God I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus as I have seen in the spirit in truth let it rest on your head in truth let it rest on your head and by this prophetic mystery every and all weeping comes to an end now hallelujah Please hear me if you came with a photo of someone as a prophetic contact for healing while I'm praying now I want you to connect it doesn't matter where they are it doesn't matter where they are I sense a, a mighty healing anointing right now please place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle I want to pray for the sick now lay your hands lay your hands outside lay your hands everywhere lay your hands now unto the lamb upon the throne we raise we raise for you a god god alone your hand i want to pray for you right now i'm seeing so many people lifting up photos of loved ones it looks like there is a demonic onslaught of sickness that wants to bring mockery to the body of christ people who love god and serve the lord and then the devil just comes in sometimes as a devourer and the whole savings of families just go in one month in two months because they have to manage delicate health issues please i want you to believe that jesus heals lay your hands let me pray for you now whether it is a growth omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, thou art welcome in this place. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, thou art welcome in this place. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
release your faith now i decree and declare you gave men the power over unclean spirits you gave power to heal even incurable diseases your people are here representing themselves and representing their loved ones in the name that is above all names and by the god who has sent us to be his channels of healing to the nations i decree and declare right now every spirit that is back of any infirmity if that sickness has a name if that sickness has a name then i command it to bow now bow now bow now every blood condition be healed now in jesus name every malfunctioning heart you receive a brand new heart now cancer we call you by name and we curse you by the god of heaven fibroids of all kinds you die from the bodies of god's people kidney failure in the name of jesus let there be a miracle a restoration of your kidneys liver failure let there be a restoration of your liver gastrointestinal conditions be healed right now reproductory conditions be healed right now the Lord is showing me someone goiter be healed now eye conditions glaucoma cataract be healed now short sightedness long sightedness be healed now brain tumors prostrate problems lumps all around your body be healed now <laughs> movement of satanic objects around your body in the name of jesus that movement stops this moment <laughs> deafness whether on one of the of the ears or both of them in the name of jesus let them be open now <laughs> there's someone you are a gentleman you are not able to ease yourself it looks like some um maybe some urinogenital problem i don't know what it is but you are not able to ease yourself excruciating pain this is what i'm seeing in the name of jesus right now this moment i decree and declare healing comes for you now <laughs> peptic ulcer be healed now back pain be healed now There's someone you came with severe pain around your kneecap that pain is living now that pain is living now the lord is showing me a healing happening for someone around your mola severe pain it looks like it looks to you because of the pain like perhaps there may be some hole or it's some cavity problem may the lord bring you a miracle now make sure you keep believing the lord is showing me someone's mother i'm seeing her just sit on a chair she's not able to use her right leg i'm seeing a crutch in the name of jesus wherever mama is whether she's here on ground or following from across the globe in the name of jesus healing comes now healing comes now 
there's someone i think your elder your elder sister is having her lip swell like it's becoming twice the size of the normal human lip this thing you see i'm not a doctor but based on what god is showing me is cancer forming in the name of jesus christ i pray by the power that raised christ from the dead the way it came let it go back i say it again the way it came let it go back there is a in fact two people i'm seeing you have a very severe i don't know what the medical name is what they call nose bleeding you can stand and just begin to bleed significant portions of blood coming through your nose in the name of jesus i'm praying for you now whatever the medical condition is be healed now i'm seeing a gentleman you are here you are ss that sickle cell when this crisis starts for you it's almost as if you are gasping for breath to lose your life in the name of jesus i don't know where that gentleman is but by the power that raised christ from the dead may that crisis come to an end now i need to pray for someone you sprained your leg but with what I'm seeing is beyond a sprain on your leg because you are not able to stand straight. It looks like there are pins that are choking your leg like pins. This thing I need to pray for you. There is something wrong with your veins and your arteries. In the name of Jesus Christ, may my God who is healer bring healing right now. Bring healing right now. For someone you are not sick per se, but you are not able to sleep in the night. Once people go to bed, you just lie down and you keep rolling left and right and sleep almost never comes. To a point that you are already getting, I'm seeing you take a white pill, something that was given to you in the hospital. And it's almost becoming an addiction. You are taking it and yet it is not working. In the name of Jesus, may my God, who is also your God, bring you healing right now. Again, the Lord is showing me a woman just like I shared the vision earlier. You take in, but then you have a dream and all kinds of things happen in that dream. Soon after that dream, you will lose this pregnancy. This thing has happened over six or seven times. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming on you now. Help that lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Someone you are having, I want to pray for you. You may think it's a joke. But I think a doctor warned you that you are having a heart problem. That if you are not careful, you are going to have a, a heart attack and it can affect you in your sleep. You got angry at the doctor. The doctor did not lie. I need to pray for you because I'm seeing a situation where I'm not a medical doctor, forgive me, but I'm seeing that your heart is not pumping blood well and a situation where you know how like a car that loses fuel, you know how it keeps jacking and stops. This is what I'm seeing. Prophetic things are very funny. Sometimes God uses other images to show you what he's, he's showing you. I'm seeing like a car, you know how fuel is over and it's gasping and stops. And this is what I see of that person and then he doesn't wake up again. In the name of Jesus. Anyone having a heart problem, whether you know it or not, of course you should always be responsible. I've taught you this. But in the name of Jesus right now, I'm praying for you. Whatever wants to kill you, using heart attack or heart failure, breathing problems in fact be healed now 
the Lord is showing me someone you even came here with your inhaler you are an asthmatic patient when this thing starts on you it's almost as if you literally feel life passing out of you and this thing has punished you again and again I'm praying for that person you came here literally with your inhaler in the name of Jesus wherever you are may the power of God rest upon you right now rest upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ there is a woman here your concern is not even you your concern is your child that you came with your child is already manifesting autistic tendencies and yet you gave birth to a healthy child this has been a serious problem for you not only is the child hyperactive is becoming clear that it's like the brain the mind is not properly coordinated in the name of Jesus Christ may the God of mercy right now wherever you are across this auditorium alongside that pressure child in the name of Jesus Christ I bring healing for that person now my God mighty miracles are happening here someone you came here you couldn't move your legs well in the name of Jesus I want you to begin to move your legs now a supernatural miracle is happening to you right where you are now there's someone you don't have a lump but when you lie down with the left side, your chest area, you are a lady. It's not like it's a lump, but the pain is excruciating. The power of God is touching you right now. Healing is coming right now. Healing is coming right now. Healing is coming right now. Coming right now. I'm seeing a woman here you don't see in the night. Because of this thing, you don't drive in the night. Your eyes seem fine, but in the night, especially once it's hazy, you literally can go and stumble across maybe a, a, a door or something like that. I'm praying for you. You will know that you are healed this night because right from where you are, you will see your perfect vision wherever you are. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus now whether I mention your case or not in the name of Jesus and for those of you who are lifting up photos or through your phones or whatever means I'm seeing you whether inside outside Jesus is seeing you more importantly I stretch my hands in agreement with you that those photos representing these people you are lifting in the name of Jesus may my God give them a miracle now May my God give them a miracle now. May my God give them a miracle now. May my God give them a miracle now. In the name of Jesus. Now here's what I want you to do. We are only going to dedicate five minutes for this. Hallelujah. I want everybody to keep standing. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Even if it's at the time where I was praying and you fell under the anointing, the moment you find out that there is a miracle, it's important that we give people a few minutes to testify because from here I want to get into prophetic declarations. I really want something to rest on your head. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want a prophetic word to rest upon your head that you must return with a testimony from. But very quickly, the hand of God has touched you or touched your loved one or those of you online a miracle has happened to you send in your testimony now now I'm going to give those outside all the overflows the moment you check yourself as you're doing now you see that there is a miracle very quickly come out you can come to my left or to my right very quickly and a few officials will take your testimony I'm seeing people coming out let's celebrate them as they come in the name of Jesus Christ and those who are coming from any overflow if it's for testimony please Please, protocol ushers allow them very quickly and let's have them come out don't sit back a miracle has happened to you check yourself are you celebrating miracles people are coming out now those outside very quickly let's shame the devil Let, let's experience let's enjoy the atmosphere of his presence within a few minutes and then I speak over your life now while they are coming out are you celebrating miracles my God look what Jesus is doing tonight 
outside. Clear the way for them as they come. Mighty miracles by the Spirit. How many of you have written your prayer requests? Very quickly, let me see your hands. How many of you are yet to write your prayer requests? Okay, very quickly, while we are doing that, please bring out your paper. Those online, if you are yet to send your prayer request, this is a Bible-believing ministry, and there is a God that answers prayer. Hallelujah. When we come like this by the instruction of the Lord, we agree by faith, laying hands on your requests, and believing the Lord, the God of all grace, to move mightily. So very quickly, if you have written your prayer request, I want you to pass it to the last person by your left or right. Don't worry. No one reads your request. It's between you and God. So just pass it very quickly to make the work easy for the ushers. Please, ushers, make sure you go outside. Make sure everyone's request is here. And let's make that happen on time. So when it's time to pray, we have that quickly. But we're taking a few testifiers now. There are people who have been touched by the hand of God. And I want you to listen for these testimonies. When we take testimonies like this it is because we want to acknowledge is our way of saying thank you Jesus that we are grateful for the performance of his word in our lives yes sir please go ahead sorry sir all right please. go ahead praise God I've not been hearing properly on this ear for several months at for, least for several but during the prayers my ears are open I can hear completely them. you are able to hear how long for this this has been like for two three months now and then some weeks in the name of Jesus this miracle that has happened to you remains permanent by the mighty hand of God amen let's give Jesus praise yes sir next person very quickly medical team please let's walk very quickly so that um we can have the testifiers come very quickly this is what jesus is doing for some man of god while you are watching you are not just watching testimonies you are seeing what will start happening in your ministry from this night in the name of jesus christ go ahead yes sir praise the lord uh yesterday when i returned back home i was having an excruciating pain in my back so it's i've never had that kind of pain before and i couldn't sleep throughout the night but when then our father the god servant was ministering he mentioned the issue of back pain if i check myself the, i couldn't see the pain so as i was now when he now said we should come out for the testimony as i was coming out for the testimony the pain went uh, left me totally completely to the extent that yesterday uh, this morning while i was going to church i could not bend down to bend down now bend down to wear my shoe and right now any pain no pain it's gone forever forever in the name of jesus christ we give jesus praise it will never return to you again let's celebrate jesus yes please go ahead um i'm short-sighted and i'm literally like sitting at the back but you're short-sighted yes how long has this been like since last year late last year okay but i can see clearly like okay. even normally before if i was standing here there's definitely no way i can see you like clearly but if you were standing here you would not be able to see me not clearly and right now i can see you clearly yes how many five five two one two five give jesus praise it will never return again in the name of jesus christ yes please yes sir praise god i have i got a accident about three weeks past now and when you had an accident yes three weeks past okay now, with the, my left leg uh, right leg when you have mentioned that somebody with a light uh, red leg who hasn't a problem they cannot move then i started to move you said we should move i started to move my what leg. couldn't you do before i could not move like this my friend look at me run In the name of Jesus Christ, it will never return to you again. Amen. And I pray that that accident, as I'm praying for him, I'm praying for someone. Amen. You have no business with accidents. Amen. May my God protect you and protect your loved ones. Amen. In Jesus' name. God bless you. It is well with you. Yes, please. All right. So, Apostle, Mama here came actually, she said she came to this service with swollen feet. Yes. But what my, happened to you? My name is Oka Chengoga. I came with her. I came 
went to service with swollen legs because I was having severe severe pains on my waist. How long and has I that came, been? That it has started for two three years now. I've been suffering on it. Yes. So as I came, I even I couldn't raise my knees to climb upstairs. I just by the grace of God I entered auditorium. So as we are praying now, every prayer is lies on me, both heart or both chest, everything. Walk in now. Me. Walk now. Any pain? Come on, Koinonia. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Swollen feet. Gone. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. It will never return to you again by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I receive. Amen and amen. I yes. receive. Go ahead. Apostle, this is a lump of many testimony. You gave word of knowledge of people with severe chest pain, back pain, yes. and nail pain. All of them, about four of them, they are healed by the power of four God. Four of them. Yes. The pain is gone. I stretch my hands over you. Sorry, because of time, we're not able to give individuals. So we just group like that. I, I she couldn't that. raise her leg before who is that now let me give her the mic praise the lord i came to church with severe back pain my brother had to press my back two days ago when he said back pain is gone i placed my hand there and i just turned and discovered it was gone and i sat down because of the new pain and he said you are having new pain stand up and it's gone i stood up and to the glory of god that new pain is gone, gone I, forever. I had to tie the leg to sleep last night it is gone i can spot Praise Jesus. Let's give Jesus praise. For you and all who are in that category, I stretch my hands. Let the power of God rest upon you. You are healed now. Your healing remains permanent. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's celebrate them as they return to their seats rejoicing. Yes, please. Apostle, immediately you came in, you gave word of knowledge of those who could not use their hand. Their hands, hand. yes. Praise the Lord. I came in for months. I've been having pains here. This is how far I can raise my hand. But now when you were talking, I... Go ahead. Let the devil see it. That is the hand you will use to praise Jesus. Any pain? Gone completely. Any destiny that has refused to rise. Because you see, miracles like this are prophetic messages. Are we together? I'm praying for you. The same God who can cause a hand who could not live to stretch. May your destiny answer on that wise. May your destiny answer on that wise. For some of you, before the last Koinonia service, I'm prophesying to you, whatever has not been done from January till now, may my God do a quick work in your life. A quick work in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Okay, word of knowledge of a lady with a pain in the breast. There's no long, but she said every time she sleeps and wakes up, she finds her chest, the left side of her breast, pain in her. Yes. But now she's been healed by the power of God. Completely healed. How long has this been? For about a week now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That devil, the way he came, may go back to hell. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, please, Pastor Jakes, go ahead. Yes, sir. All right. Hallelujah. Uh, a month ago, a stone fell on my leg. Why stone? Walking? Yes. Why walking the site? And uh, someone matched the leg. So from that day, my vein started having issue. I went to the hospital. They treated it, and the vein was still having issue, as if I, w- I was feeling like nails under my leg. Yes. So Apostle made mention of the case. He said there is a guy here that uh, it's as if there are nails under your leg. What happened now? Straight to so the point. The veins are the veins it's as if the veins are, are rotting. So when Apostle pray over the leg. Immediately, I, I could start moving the leg, and blood started coming out from this, the, the, the the wound. Pause. Blood. So blood. So just. Oh, blood started blood. coming yes. out. So he couldn't move his yes. you know, his feet before, but after the prayers, he could. My friend, so. move now. Are you seeing a miracle that has happened? My God, you can even see that he could not wear a cover shoe. Lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus, I declare perfection for you right now. It will never return again. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Let's celebrate him. Next person, very quickly. So, Apostle, you also give a word of knowledge for someone who actually pains arm? Yes, sir. Yeah, I came here with this pain on my hand. It it has been there for like two years. I've tried all I could medically. They said nothing is wrong with me. And then I've been in this pain. But then when the case was mentioned, I felt somehow like 
put this bit for me. I started sweating all of a sudden. I trying to move the hand. I just realized that it's like this hand is short. This one is longer than this one. Until I notice all the pain is gone. And right now, lift both of them. Again, lift both of them. Again, 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 again. In the name of Jesus Christ. This miracle remains permanent in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please, very quickly. All right, so we have a very interesting testimony here. Yes, please. I, since the beginning of this year, I've been having chest pain. I can't hardly breathe. Most times I can't yawn. I can't shout. My chest tights in as if I want to just, I don't know, give yes. up. So when you started counting, that we should shout Jesus. You counted the first time. And when I was sitting down, I could not yawn because I was having flu. It was so bad. Then you started counting Jesus. Jesus, one, two, three, I started shouting, I kept shouting, and I'm still shouting, I'm still shouting, I'm still shouting. And that, that pain is not there. Yes. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. The power of God, in the name of Jesus, right now, I sense an anointing coming on you. I declare perfection. That pain, wherever it is, and whatever is the cause, it leaves you never to return again. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Next person, please, very quickly. Yeah, praise the Lord. Um, I've been My God, there's so many miracles. Sometimes I feel so guilty. For three years now. Um, like, like, hold on just a moment. Um, please let me say this. We don't downplay testimonies in this house. Every manifestation of God's power is worth recognizing. Are we together? So when we have to stop people on the way, you know that a standard miracle service will take hours because it takes hours to even celebrate what God is doing. Hallelujah. So when you see us halt sometimes, I feel sad, but then we have to do that so that we can regulate time. I'm saying that particularly for those who have taken the courage to come and stand. You are always at liberty, even beyond today, to register your testimony, share them online. We don't downplay miracles. And for those of you who probably have testimonies and do not want to share, whether you have some phobia or whatever it is, let me tell you, sharing your testimony is good for you and and is good for the saints. Hallelujah. Don't keep silent the manifestations of God in your hand or in your life. You allow for continuity when that happens. And if you refuse to testify, sometimes you open up doors for a reprisal from the enemy again. This is true. Hallelujah. Yes, go ahead, sir. I actually have just been from a long time now. Yes. So when you are praying outside, like I can't scream for long, like I can't shout for long. So and when now, you're screaming, I'm fine now, like completely. Feeling okay, yeah, I can scream. In the name when of Jesus. I was screaming outside, I was holding my chair, but now. But right now it's gone. Yeah. That heaviness okay returns now. back to the devil. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let's celebrate God for his life. Next person, very quickly. Praise the Lord. I was having a serious and a severe hemorrhoids, pile, for quite some time. Over about pile, yes, for about 15 years or so. Oh dear. Uh, yesterday I couldn't sleep because of the pain after I, 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 I came out from the toilet. And what happened now? And now the pain has, I'm not feeling anything. Completely. Completely. I'm, I'm, I'm. I was I was booked for for a surgery about three times. Even today, I was I went to the hospital. They booked me for surgery again Saturday to meet with the surgeon, and I declined. I came to the church. I go to the medical section. I have I've seen the doctor. I explained to him. I show him the picture, and I came into the prayer. I was at the back outside there. I was praying, and when he asked us to to shout and jump, I came to the faith, and now the pain has disappeared. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare what the Lord has done in your life. Let it remain permanent in Jesus' name. God bless you very quickly. Yes, sir. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. This is almost getting to three weeks now. I have not been hearing where from this my left ear. So when I come, I, I still believe in God that God will heal me today. So when our apostle was praying, yes. I found that anointing up there. So you fell on that. Where were you? Up there. Up okay. There. And what there. happened now? So when I when I when I wake up, we started praying again. When I pray, then I when when you say we should check ourselves, my neighbor was not talking to me. I started. I said, ah, what is going on? I said, sir, please can you speak again? And when you talk, I started hearing very clearly. Completely. 
in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please, very quickly. Okay, Apostle, we have uh, here a case of facial palsy. Yes. Facial palsy. Yes, sir. Please. Since, since 2019, I, I, middle of 2019, I had an experience, and after that, this left side of my face has been paralyzed since then. It's I've been no paralyzed? Longer, yes, sir. I've You've been, seen the doctor on it? Yes, sir. I've okay. been undergoing physiotherapy on and off since then. Mm-hmm. Even this year, I was undergoing physio. In fact, just when I came to church this morning, I was telling the friend I'm sitting with about the experience, and she and someone else and she was laughing at me and at some point I stopped telling her about it but when I came I was actually believing God for my mom's healing so when you were praying I I felt some level of relief although I still feel the pool but it's not severe place your hand there in the name of Jesus I decree and declare the God of heaven who has started this miracle that facial palsy whatever it is called in Jesus name you will give way right now we release you and we declare perfection for this miracle in Jesus name I pray let's give Jesus praise for her miracle yes please so apostle we have a similar case three of them um, they were all healed of toothache toothache yes sir that's all right i will i will will just pray for time in the name of jesus i lay my hands upon you and i declare perfection perfection every cavity problem comes under arrest is gone never to return again in jesus name amen yes sir all right um praise the lord for over five years i've been having this new pain that whenever i bend down it feels like there are pains inside just like apostle said but just after the prayers i knelt down with faith and i cannot feel it again it's gone completely yes it is gone in the name of jesus it will never return again in jesus name let's take two or three more people quickly there yes sir okay please go Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Since like two months, anytime I do a little walk or I did a little a little walk or a little trek, I will be having a pain on my knee. So to, even today, I, I, I started to work. I, I started feeling the pain. But when I first started declaring, the pain was gone. Absolutely. Completely. Gone. You see, once you see repeated cases of certain miracles, there is a message that is connected there. That means every stagnation and everything that has incapacitated your movement. The same way God is healing limbs and healing knees, I decree and declare prophetically, go forward. I'm saying it to someone who is serious. In the name of Jesus, go forward. In the name of Jesus, go forward. In one week, may you take the leap of one year. In one week, may you take the leap of one year. Yes, please. Please sit down. Yes, sir. So they've all been healed of their kneecaps. They all had pain. You had a problem with your kneecap? Yeah, praise the Lord. Like over two months ago, I strained my nail. I fell into a dish when I was coming back from church. And since that time, I cannot stretch the leg. Or if I sit for a while, I can't. I have to massage the leg before I move again. And now? Now I can stretch the leg. In the name of Jesus, it will never, never return. I lay my hands upon you and I declare healing. Let's have two or three here. Severe pain in the eye. He had to even get an eyeglass. So when he came in, he removed the eyeglass. Immediately, you climb around. He said yes. for over one hour now besides for over one hour it's been normal yes sir how long has this been it's more than a year now in the name of jesus as it's happened spiritually and physically may your vision be clear amen in jesus name congratulations next person apostle she wrote some prayer points and immediately you came up it's like you were just reciting what she wrote down number one prayer points that she she wrote here that god should visit her nation as she can be near and then you mentioned serpentine spirit and also spirit of death she said she has been seeing her sister dying in the dream so when fighting snakes also in the dream but when you minister god visited her in the name of jesus my dear the lord perfects you perfects your family in jesus name i pray severe pain in the ears gone do you know i prayed for somebody who was slapped in the dream and he woke up physically with that side of the ear death completely say witchcraft from the dream 
not physically and he, he woke up with it physically that should tell you how real the realm of the spirit is i'm praying for someone i don't know what started from the realm of the spirit that you are struggling to fight physically the same way it started from the realm of the spirit we end it from the realm of the spirit I say it again, the same way it started from the realm of the spirit, we end it in the realm of the spirit. My sister, I decree and declare you are perfected right now in Jesus' name. Let's have one last testimony. Pain in her right hand, now she could wave yes. the hand now. Right hand on her back. I have this pain from my back. Yes. So I literally feel the pains through my veins. Yes. But right now, when you came and said um, right hand pains and all that, so it's completely gone. Gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again. Amen. Let's have two or three people, and then please let me request by next week while we are testifying, if possible, let's give priority to one or two of these people because they have labored. It it takes a lot of courage to come and stand, and since they have stood for sake of time. Time, we may not be able to take all of them but please be our and and um, please be at liberty my dear people for those of you who may not be able to testify be very comfortable to register your testimony with the media and the public relations department so that we allow you among those who testify here we want to know what Jesus has done unfortunately we have to work with time but please I want you to feel free be very courageous to come and testify but let's see apostles there are several testimony online on those which issue of online yes from Canada Kenya online in the name of Jesus Christ we pray for you by the power that raised Christ from the dead we are agreeing right from here that for everyone maybe you read one okay. as a witness and then we'll pray for the rest yes all right sir. apostle we have a strategic one from Ruth, all the way from kenya Ruth from she, kenya she received healing from her left breast and she had an encounter with god mightily as she prophesied and then we have so many testimonies of healing of kneecaps and several breast pain related issues all the way from cameroon as she prophesied in the name of jesus christ we decree and declare we use Ruth as a point of contact to all our global family those who have been healed online we decree and declare just like we said distance is no barrier your miracles remain permanent in Jesus mighty and matchless name we pray amen and amen yes sir so sir let every man abide in his calling I'll call the doctor <laughs> to do okay so you go ahead okay apostle she came into the service with severe breast pain though she had breast lumps in her two breasts four years ago yes and she had lumpectomy done but after the surgery the lumps came back to the two breasts so she has been battling with this situation but when you gave the word of prophecy she yes. believed and then she felt something left her no more pain we've palpated that there is no single trace of lumps she's completely are you giving jesus praise no single trace father we decree and declare you see that is a prophetic message about productivity in the name of jesus the restoration god has brought for you my dear it remains permanent and i'm praying for someone you may not have a physical problem but whatever is affecting the factors that are responsible for your productivity in jesus name we release you right now to be productive we release you right now to be productive God bless you, my dear. Congratulations. Please return to your seat rejoicing. Yes, please. This is on Friday. I couldn't urinate. You couldn't urinate? I couldn't go to the toilet. I couldn't sleep. My stomach was bloated. They told me to take just tea, to take just corn, to take cucumber. I took everything I could take. There was nothing working. But after you prophesied upon sickness of all sorts of names, I could urinate and I saw a drop of blood when I went to the toilet. So just a drop. It's not menses, but just a drop and it stopped. In the name of Jesus, we declare this perfection in your body, it remains forever. Amen. We release you right now. Amen. In Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus for her. Can we have two more testimonies? 
I've had oil for years. It's been very difficult using the toilet. And then sometimes the growth is just so, so painful. And then when you mentioned it, I just went back and I tried and I've searched and I, I couldn't find it again. And the pain, the everything. pain is gone. Yes. Give Jesus praise. And I'm also thanking God because I know when you mentioned glaucoma, I know that my mom is healed and I know she'll come and take Where is she? She's here in Abuja. But we agree for her in the name of Jesus that the God who has healed you from pile may he heal your mom from every eye condition in Jesus name God bless you breathe Lord breathe breathe Lord breathe breathe upon my life
exalted, 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 I receive, I manifest your power, your wisdom to the nations. See Jesus lifted up, exalted.
Jesus, see Jesus lifted up, glorified till the nations bring them out. See Jesus lifted up, exalted till the nations see Jesus lifted up. Every destiny that has been tied down by witchcraft At the count of three You are going to shout the name Jesus And as you shout that name That devil must let you go I like you to be sensitive Koinoni are you ready? My father I pray That by the mystery of this your wisdom Let the bound be free now At the count of three Shout Jesus One, two, three First, his wisdom. 
come his power receive manifest his wisdom his power receive manifest his power his wisdom to the nations see Jesus lifted up exalted to the nations see Jesus who is Gabriel I'm hearing the name Gabriel please I want you to be sensitive God is doing a quick walk is there someone called Gabriel very quickly I want to speak to you and then I'm hearing the name Hosea who is Hosea H-O-S-E-A I'll, I'll soon pray for those in front there is an impartation that is happening who is Hosea your name is Hosea where are you coming from my name is Gabriel sir Gabriel who is Hosea I'm hearing a name Hosea the Lord is saying he wants to bring an end to captivity in the family of Hosea father in the name of Jesus I am praying is that the, that's the name of your baby Gabriel I will pray for you father I stretch my hands I'm hearing that I should prophesy that it returns to you. This is not to these guys. I'm here. I don't know what was taken from you, but the Lord is saying I should prophesy. Therefore, I declare everything that left you that should not have left by this anointing, it returns now. 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 Hosea, I stretch my hands. Every demonic thing that has tied your family, I'm seeing the spirit of death in the family of Hosea. And the Lord is saying I should avert that spirit because it comes in cycles. It will come, then it will stay. Then help them please. Then it will come back again. I stand by this mantle tonight and I decree and declare that every spirit that is not of the Christ, let it leave the family of Hosea now. Let it leave the family of Hosea now. That is God's mandate for us tonight. It is amazing how God works. The wisdom of the Spirit. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me someone, you are a lawyer. The power of God is coming upon you now as I speak. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that the season of shame is over. You are a lawyer. You are a lawyer in the name of Jesus. Help that person at the back. In the name of Jesus, for that lawyer, captivity comes to an end now. The Lord is asking me to, re to rebuke a pattern that has followed many families. It's a pattern of cancer. All the people go ahead of you right now. There are currently people who have cancer. Everybody is like a string. That's what kills people in the family. I don't know who belongs to such a family. But here at this miracle service, the spirit that kills men through the guise of cancer, it dies right now. It right now it dies right now hallelujah you're going to sing this song two times just the brief part you just do what i'm asking you to do at the end of this the second time when you sing it please hear me i'm going to pray for the sick we'll work with time but at the second time the moment you sing it i'm hearing the cry of babies listen and the lord is saying and i want i'm saying it in the open the lord is saying one of the miracles that will begin to manifest in this ministry is extraordinary fruitfulness people that have been trusting god for children for a long time i want you to know that this is your prophetic word it's not a song it's not a song are you ready now breathe breathe say Trusting 
God for the fruit of the womb. Lay your hands, whether for you or for someone, you can stand for someone. You are a man, you can stand for your wife. I want to make this declaration. God does not lie. In the name of Jesus, the gates of fruitfulness that has been locked up either by witchcraft. My God, I'm just seeing fire. Burning things that look like threats. In the name of Jesus Christ, at the instruction of the Spirit, I decree and declare koinonia here in Abuja and across the globe all those trusting God for the fruit of the womb in the name of Jesus Christ receive your miracle children receive your miracle children receive your miracle children in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is showing me an impartation that he's doing now is an impartation of the grace for teaching a prophetic dimension of the teaching grace this is not for everybody I don't know why God will interrupt the thing like this but I stretch my hands the grace of a teacher may that grace rest upon you right now the grace of a teacher may that anointing mantle you wherever you are you are a man of God here, I decree and declare the capacity to draw wisdom from the word. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Now hear me, ladies and gentlemen. One of the ways that we draw the wisdom of the spirit is when we engage in prayer even praying in the spirit when we begin to pray in the spirit you are not just sounding and bringing gibberish you are giving the holy spirit room to search the mind of the father and he will bring to you this is how this song came this is how many other things can be transported from the realm of the spirit i want to declare there is a baptism that god wants to do now it's a baptism of fire that will help men pray until they receive wisdom in the place of prayer father i don't know where they are but from the north to the south east to the west all over this auditorium there are people who need to draw forth wisdom from the spirit the grace and the mantle for prayer that will come you to pray and press into realms until you access wisdom may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now may that grace rest upon you now hallelujah hallelujah there's someone you came here you could not move your neck very well i want you to check yourself now the power of god has touched you you are wearing like green or lime something like that this is what i'm seeing in the spirit is there someone like that come come where why are they clapping check yourself and come a miracle has happened to you now breathe lord
problem? What what did, what was the problem? For some times now, I've been feeling hotness in this side of my body. Just today, the team moved. Madam down. looked at me. I want to look at me. I want to pray for you so that we we'll save time. I'm seeing that the devil brought stroke. This thing would have led to stroke. You've been feeling half of you. It's as if you feel numbness yes, sometimes. Yes, yes. I want you to stand up. Yes. Check your neck now. Move it. Don't be afraid. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Move it. Any pain. Look at this. Any pain. In the name of Jesus, that devil of darkness that has brought stroke to your body, we command it back to hell where it came from. Back to hell where it came from. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, look at me. I want to pray for you. I'm not a prophet of doom. But I'm looking at you and I'm seeing you inside a coffin. And the Lord is saying to bring you out of there. I use Mama as a point of contact. Anyone who has been buried in the spirit. That is only a matter of time. Believe me, I know what I'm seeing that makes me say what I'm saying. In the name of Jesus. Anyone who has been buried in the spirit. I declare, come out of that demonic coffin now. Of that demonic coffin now. Help my mother. I stretch my hands, Mama. In the name that is above all names, you will not die. Hence, God has brought you here tonight. We forbid you from untimely death. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is showing me a family from Edo State. And the Lord is telling me that the power of God is coming upon you. There is a very strange manifestation of witchcraft. Witchcraft that does not allow people rise. This is Edo State. In the name that is above all names. I pray for whoever that person is as may, be, as may apply wherever you are. In the main auditorium, all the overflows are following online. That demonic spirit that comes as a result of territory by the power that raised Christ from the dead be delivered now. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm not a prophet of doom. And I'm usually very careful to make announcements like this. But I'm hearing in my spirit now. And the Lord is saying, announce it openly. The Lord is asking me to pray for one of the senators in this country. That he will not fall and go the way of the grave. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a prophet of doom. I don't come out to waste my time. I have serious things to do. So it's not, I will not speak like this if God did not put it in my heart. I fear God, but I also respect myself. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, hence God has revealed it. We pray for all our serving senators. If there is anyone that the devil wants to bring to the grave, by the mercies of God, we decree and declare, may they be preserved. <laughs> by the mercies of God, may they be preserved. <laughs> one of these, my ushering ladies, I know you people are walking, but the power of God is coming on one of you. God is saying the prayer you have been praying for a long time, that he has brought answers to it. The prayer you have been praying for a long time, the prayer you have been praying for a long time even though you are ushers you are serving but god is saying the prayer you have been praying for a long time that is bringing answers to it the prayer you have been praying for a long time in the name of jesus i decree and declare as god is touching them every long-standing prayer point that you have written and written and written and written again may my god arise and breathe upon that prayer right now Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Lord is asking me to pray against kidnapping for a particular family. Just lend me a few minutes and we'll be done. It's a very influential family. I'm seeing people conspire and kidnapping this person and asking for a ransom of over 100 million in the name that is above all names. Anybody who wants to kidnap and kill anybody, this one I'm the one praying, quarter to that time, may the earth open and swallow them. I say it again. I stand as a man of God that anybody conspiring to get any made the earth open and swallow them. In the name of
of Jesus Christ. May the earth open and swallow them. Hallelujah. Place your hand anywhere you are trusting God for healing. I want to speak over your life now. All those in front here, there is a woman, Kai. I want to pray for you. Um, because what you are what you think is just a lump and pain, I want to cause it. I'm seeing a manifestation, and this is something that is cancerous, and the Lord wants me to rebuke it. You just think it's just a lump, but this thing is the devil wanting to put. I hope you know that cancer is a spirit. Do you know that? Please believe it. Any daughter of Abraham here that the devil has planted any sin, anything in your body, I stand by the God who sent me for your sake. I decree and declare tonight cancer dies from your body. 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 In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Father, anyone here who is sick, you came with a sick person, you can release your faith. And I know that many hospitals graciously follow the miracle service. All the hospitals that are following right now, you can just allow the patients to make contact just by stretching their hands. Or if the patients are unconscious, you can leave them. The loved ones who are there with them can stand. I'm about to pray. We want to release healing to the nations and to release it here right now. Please, I want you to believe. Healing is real. I am a product of the healing ministry of Jesus. I pray right now. Every spirit that is back of any infirmity, it does not matter the name, the form, the fashion. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I declare that spirit leaves your body now. That spirit leaves your body now. That spirit leaves your body now. Right now I decree and declare, be healed in the name of Jesus. Blood conditions be healed now. Ulcers be healed now. Pile be healed now. All kinds of growths in your body, I command them to die now. Any abnormality in your body, drying up your bones, drying up your blood, be healed from it now. HIV be healed. Diabetes be healed. Arthritis be healed. Blindness be healed. Deafness be healed. Pile be healed. Problems be healed. Liver problems be healed. Heart conditions be healed. Children with autism be healed. Migraine headaches be healed. Cataracts be healed. Glaucoma be healed. Colon cancer be healed. Prostrate cancer be healed. Lung cancer be healed. Bone conditions be healed. Joint problems be healed. You are here and your SS genotype, we change it now in the name of Jesus. There's someone you've been suffering a problem of indigestion. I don't know what it is, but it looks like some kind of gastrointestinal problem. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I stretch my hands now and I decree and declare, may the power of God touch you right where you are. Touch you right where you are. Touch you right where you are. Now I want to pray for someone I'm seeing in the spirit. Both men and women, 
from the family you come from there is a spirit i'm not asking you to come out this is the spirit of drunkenness you love god oh but you cannot see alcohol it's not like whether you are good or bad i want to pray for you because that thing you see can kill i'm praying for you first the mercy of god where you have roasted your liver roasted parts of your body because of consuming some of these poisonous things may god show you mercy and then i am praying right now please take it seriously i curse the spirit of alcoholism let it die now in the name of jesus christ Then the Lord is asking me to pray for a family. I can imagine that many families will be connected to this prayer. But particularly, I want to pray for a family that has suffered abject poverty. This is a wicked spirit. Going to school or not going to school does not seem to matter. Because these are forces that have tied down the family. And they love God. In Jesus name I cry to the Lord God of heaven The one who created and made For this convergence Any family that has been down By the spirit of poverty I come in the Volume of the book as it has been Written in the name of Jesus As one sent by the spirit And I declare may that spirit Be banished from your family May that spirit be banished From your family Hallelujah. Banish from your family. Now, very quickly, we are going to sing this song as a prophetic song. Sing any part you can remember. While we are singing it, please collect the prayer request. Let's just walk with the foolishness of God's wisdom and watch what happens to you. Hallelujah. Write your prayer request very quickly and we are going to sing this song as they present it here before the Lord. And I assure you that by the God of heaven, you will watch the wonder that will happen. Those outside, those inside, you can submit your prayer request if your, if your request has not been collected just wave it let the usher see it very quickly now you pass it to the last the aisle by the left or right no one will read it don't worry just pass it so that quickly if you are yet to write a few things please release your faith let me give you a minute and those who are following from across the nations write your request very quickly this is the time when God will be visiting people mightily you came here make sure that your faith is enlarged hallelujah have you learned the song now or do we need to do any rehearsal again? See you. 
see Jesus lifted up. Turn into a prayer now. Everyone, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe, Lord, breathe, breathe upon my life. Say, breathe, Lord. Say, breathe, Lord. song came to me by the spirit that was why i recorded it as you heard i prayed it and prayed it and prayed it in my life most people have no idea what happens to a man when god breathes upon you it's like a hen you know how a hen sits on her eggs and those eggs hatch and become young chicks that will also become big hands so when you say breathe you are saying lord let your breath his breath is powerful it parted the red sea it was the breath of god that came upon the bones in the valley of ezekiel and turned those bones to become an exceeding great army so as we pray over these requests you are saying breathe we are asking him it's not the kneeling down of joshua selman that makes his prayers to be answered god gave this song as a prophetic song to the body of christ this is not just a koinonia that's going to be our prayer please submit your request very quickly we're going to sing this song one twice once twice and then i speak over this request and then I will turn the song to a prophecy and rain it upon your spirit. According to Isaiah 32 verse 15, that until the spirit is poured upon us from on high, and then the wilderness is counted for a fruitful vine, and the fruitful vine is counted for a forest. Receive, manifest his power. His wisdom receive manifest his power his wisdom receive manifest his power his wisdom let me prophesy receive manifest his power, his wisdom to the nations. See Jesus lifted up, exalted, receive, manifest his power, his wisdom to the nations. See Jesus lifted up, exalted, he's exalted in my life, he's exalted, exalted, he's exalted in my life, exalted, exalted. In Genesis 8 verse 1 and 2 the Bible tells us that when it was time to put an end to the flood the Bible says verse 2 that God caused a strong wind verse 1 now I believe that God caused a strong wind to pass over the earth so the breath of God can blow away unfavorable things it's not only life when you are saying breathe upon me you are saying Lord breathe upon 
upon everything. Let shame go as you breathe. Let reproach go as you breathe. Let everything that is not of God, a cupboard, the name that have been named, people have mocked your God. You are saying, Lord, breathe upon me. And for some of you who are saying there is no life in me, I don't even have hope to move forward. You are saying, breathe life into me. You are still going to sing this song. Now you sing it with revelation as I prepare to pray. The breath of God. Ruach. Numa. The wind of the spirit. I prophesied as I was commanded. He said and there was a sound. A sound. And he said son of man. Prophesy to the four winds. And say all wind. Breathe upon this lane. And the wind came upon the bones. And there arose an exceeding great army. Sing the song one last time. With understanding in your heart. Breathe Lord. Lift your hands as you receive. Say, breathe Lord. Mighty warrior that you are, and bring. 
breathe upon this request. Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. Breathe upon this request in the name of Jesus. That everything that has been written here by the power that raised Christ from the dead, let it be turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. Turned into a testimony. For some of you, it arrives Monday. For some Tuesday. For some tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God. Speed to answers by the Spirit of the Living God. And hear me. Every human agent who needs to partner with the Spirit of God to make for answers to this request in the name that is above all names, wherever they are, by the power of the prophetic, we call them to your life now. I call them to your life now. Therefore, I stand upon this request and I declare, these Egyptians that you see today, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now, I feel led to do this. We're wrapping up. In one minute, I felt stirred in my heart. The one thing you want God to do for you. I know you wrote a lot of things here. But I'm releasing my faith with you. The one thing. There may be many things. But there might be one thing you are crying and saying, Lord, visit me. You are the only one who knows. Whether you are outside in the next two minutes. Please, I want you to pray. I'm releasing my faith with you. And you will watch the God of wonder surprise you. You go, shut away unbelief and go ahead and pray. Impossible situations. Don't ask for something that can cheaply be answered. Ask for something that you know the answer of will be pivotal to the advancement of your destiny. Go ahead and pray. I release my faith as one sent. I release my faith by the spirit of grace. Go ahead and pray. Remember that everything about our lives are connected to his will. This is why we pray with confidence. For the Bible says this is the confidence that we have. That when we ask anything according to his will, we know that he hears us. Please go ahead and pray. Receive. Manifest. Receive. Manifest, receive, manifest, receive, keep praying, manifest, receive, manifest, receive, manifest, his power, his wisdom, his power, his wisdom, till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted, till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. Lord, we receive answers outside, inside, across the nations of the earth. We receive answers tonight by the Spirit of the living God. Answers of wisdom, answers of favor, answers of restoration, answers of speed, answers of establishment, answers of fruitfulness, answers of breakthroughs, answers of higher realms, answers of superior dimensions, answers of open doors, answers of open gates, answers of open heavens. In the name of
of Jesus Christ. Koinonia, hear me. In the name of Jesus, for the remaining months of this year, September ending, October, November, December, may my God, who is also your God, do a speedy walk in your life. Do a speedy walk in your life. A speedy walk in your career. A speedy walk in this nation. A speedy walk in your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray over these hands that are lifted. In the name of Jesus. You have lifted it up. It will not go down. You have lifted it up. You will not go down. Everything that looks like shame and reproach in the name of Jesus Christ, I tear it like a curtain from your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to me. We are what we are, like Paul said, because of the abundance of the grace that he has placed upon our lives. And everything that he has placed is transferable to those who desperately and genuinely need it. I pray for you all the time and I release many graces, but let me just do one. I will still keep crying this grace for visibility because it matters that the nations know you are there. If you do not have the grace for visibility, you can be gifted, you will still remain in shame, remain in reproach. Let me tell you, when the grace for visibility locates you, it does not matter where you are. Men will find you, systems will find you, governments will find you and exalt you. I am a beneficiary chariot of this grace i know what it can do therefore i pray for you my dear people from the depth of my spirit in the name of jesus may this mantle for visibility that stops you from being closed that stops you from being mediocre and dejected once again and for some in higher proportions let it land upon your destiny now let it rest upon your destiny now upon your ministry now upon your career now upon your children upon your spouse in the name of jesus finally every point of contact you came with i see people lifting materials lifting passports for others lifting photos of loved ones i see people lifting medical bills or medical reports i see people lifting all kinds of things provided your faith has agreed that that material is a point of contact i stand and i call upon the god who has sent us who has anointed us and distinguished us by his grace in the name of jesus let every point of contact you have lifted whatever needs to happen to that point of contact will make you laugh i decree and declare may it happen this week may it happen not next week may it happen this week 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 in the name of jesus christ where they rejected you let this grace rest upon you go back again in the name of jesus christ hear me koinonia any man who fights you beginning from today on account of what you carry goes down immediately these are not empty words let me repeat it again that on account of what you carry that any man who fights you because of where god has placed you i'm calling upon the god of vengeance that in the name of jesus christ they go down immediately suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm anybody who will not give you peace who has made up his mind that under their watch you must cry i call upon the god of jeshurun the one who rides upon the wings of the wind may he arise for you as a god of vengeance may he arise for you as a god of vengeance in the name of jesus christ my Bible says, now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always.
grace and by all means in the name of Jesus Christ I taught you that honor is the ability to not only be recognized but to be rewarded to match your true worth I want to speak that because some of you is not like you are not being rewarded but you are not being rewarded to match your sacrifice intellectually spiritually and otherwise in the name of Jesus may my God by this mantle compensate you for every year of this favor When Laban cheated Jacob and turned his wages once and again, there was a compensation system for Jacob. It was Jacob that gave back to Joseph and one Joseph wiped his tears and brought him consolation forever. Became a prime minister in Egypt and reigned, preserved God's people till he died. I'm praying for you where you have been trodden upon, cheated, manipulated, whether career wise or otherwise. I'm saying it again. May the God of justice in this season not only vindicate you but compensate you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hands to Jesus and give him all the praise. Wave it as an offering. As you are waving it, you are saying goodbye to every demonic thing. Every satanic thing that does not name the name of Christ. You are waving it prophetically. Goodbye to shame. Goodbye to reproach. Goodbye to yesterday. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now please allow me to make the altar call. My apologies for stretching you beyond today. You can see that it was a prophetic service. You are in this place for your sake. We are going to steal out a minute or two in this service to ensure that you make it right with Jesus. Jesus is the wisdom of God. Jesus is our redemption. You are in this place and you are saying, Apostle, if you will give me a chance in this prophetic atmosphere, I want to make it right once and for all with Jesus. Or you are saying, I want to rededicate my heart, my life to Jesus. We really appreciate you for watching our videos. Like, comment, share and subscribe. Thank you.